Hey James and Jazz crew, welcome back for an awesome physically fit video. Today's topic, we haven't done forearms before, so or a video on them. He's obviously worked his forearms, <laughs> but this, he's going to take the reins on this video. This is going to be a great instructional demonstration video about how to train those forearms. So yeah. it's going to be awesome. And yeah. we've got so many other instructional demonstration videos for every single body part out there, it yeah. seems like, as well as full length workout videos, including dumbbells and resistance bands, kettlebells and cardio and stretching, you name it. So take it away, hun. That's right, y'all. Today we're gonna focus on training those forearms using dumbbells, as you can see here. So I have just a few different exercises. There's not a ton of stuff that you can do for your forearms using dumbbells. Of course, you can go into the gym, get more creative using a barbell, using some uh, gym equipment. Um, however, today we're just going to focus on just dumbbells. So I've got about four different exercises to train the different parts of the forearm for you. And then I'll show you uh, another modification of some of those exercises as well. So I'm here just, for moral support. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to grab the tens. Uh, I would go heavier than this, but I do want you to be aware of the fact that if you never really train your forearms, your forearms aren't going to be super strong. So you probably will be using some pretty light dumbbells. So we're just going to start. Dumbbells are out to the side. I want to train this top of the forearm here. So we're just going to lift our, our knuckles to the sky. So I'm just doing this right here, just raising up. Boom. Hold it down slow. Hold it down slow. Hold it at the top down slow, hold it at the top. Do you recommend down ladies slow. train forearms? Yep, ladies can train forearms as well. That's perfectly fine. So as you can see, I'm really just bringing that hand up. It's probably a better view here. Bringing that hand up and I can really feel that right in here. Mm -hmm. So down, up, down. So you can do whatever rep range you want. I encourage you to shoot for higher reps, you're not going super heavy weight. So maybe you want to do 20, 18 and 15 reps, maybe 20 reps for your first one and try to go a little bit heavier for your next one. So that's the first exercise is really just focusing on that outer forearm right there. Now we want to train the inner forearm. So the way that you do that is your palms are still going to be facing in toward your side. And instead of pulling, pulling out like I was there for the outer forearms, I'm actually going to pull in. So bring in that those knuckles in toward my legs. So you're gonna go down slow, squeeze up, hold, down slow, squeeze up, hold, down slow, you're going opposite of me. Squeeze up, hold, and then down slow. Squeeze up, hold, and then down slow. It was squeeze still up, burning. Hold, yeah, yeah. You were, <laughs> we just weren't on the same. Yeah. So really what you're doing is you're hitting that inner form. You should have felt that in there. So you can also throw these two together if you want. So you can go, out, down slow, and in, down slow. Out, down slow, and in, down slow. So you can put those together, you're hitting the outer and the inner uh, forearm. So now I wanna focus on hitting more right in here. So we've hit this, we've hit this. Now I wanna focus on hitting this right here. So what you're going to do is again, you're just going to you uh, tilt that dumbbell up like this and then down slow, up, hold, down slow, up, hold, down slow, Whew. hold, hold. The longer you hold that, the more it burns. So getting a lot in here. And then, <coughs> excuse me, finally, we're going to hit this back part of the forearm. And it's just the opposite of what we just did. Pushing back like that. And then down slow, pushing back, hold, down slow. Back, hold, down slow, back, hold, down slow. And then of course you can put those two together and go forward and back. You can just go right back and forth. You don't have to hold the middle. Forward and back, hold, forward and back back forward you can see how my hands kind of come off and I'm really I really only have my hands like this I'm really feeling that in the forearms and then I'm using these fingers to push back and squeeze back through the back part of my forearms boom boom 
You know, these are super interesting. I've never actually isolated forearms to train them, so this is my first time with these exercises. I feel like I only get them trained secondarily in yeah. other workouts. And we use uh, versa grips a lot, so we actually don't get a lot of forearm workouts. So it is good to get yourself an isolated forearm uh, workout. Get, get some exercises in. Maybe you want to mm -hmm. do that after your back workout or something like that. Just train, just do a few sets of the, of the forearms. It's a good thing to do. So now here's a modified way to do this. I'm just going to get down like this. You can also do this on an edge of a bench or something like that, but here, I'm going to focus on training this part of my forearms. So you're allowing it to roll down to your fingertips, roll it up and squeeze like that. Rolling down to your fingertips, roll up and squeeze. I'm going to show you from the front. So I'm going to roll it down my fingertips. Don't drop it. So what day like what body parts would you include forearms with typically? Um, I'll show you right after this, or I'll talk about it more after this. So that was the bottom part, and now we're going to hit the top part. And that's just simply allowing that wrist to drop and then up. Feeling that right up here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So. That is a couple really great exercises you can do for the forearms. I also have in my bag, I should have brought them in, but it would have been something you had to go and purchase. But these things that you can squeeze together, they're like kind of got a coil to them and you squeeze them together. Mm -hmm. And those, they're really hard to squeeze together and those really work your forearms as well. I used to, I had those in my gym bag because I could just grab those between any set and just, you know, rep it out while I'm waiting on her to finish her set and I can switch to the other hand. And that's a great way to train your forearms without even thinking about it. So you just want to make sure you're not training those forearms in between sets of like a back day, for instance, where you really need that grip. So you could do forearms after your back day at the end of your back day, because then you're already done using the forearms for all those pulling exercises. Again, like I said, we use Versa grips where we're actually able to Isolate not, not worry groups. so much about the forearm strength because we can wrap them around the bar and we're not going to, you know, lose, lose uh, back strength or, you know, we can push heavy weight without dropping that weight because we have those straps, so those awesome. wraps. Yeah. So those are great. Encourage you to get some of those, but training those forearms after your back day, at the end of your back day, not a bad idea. Training those forearms at the end of your arms day, not a bad idea. Um, really, you can train them at the end of any day, but I encourage you to do it at the end. Um, that way you're not wearing out your forearms and then you're trying to do bicep curls, reverse grip, and you can't even hold on to it because you really will. It doesn't take long to wear out your forearms. So, um, or you can just do a day on your own. Maybe you have an abs day and you're like, I'm going to do abs and forearms or maybe abs, calves and forearms. Some of those, you know, secondary type muscles, um, hit it with those. So anyways, uh, yeah, I call it, we call it, we used to call it details day where we would do, we would do abs, we would do calves, we would do forearms, stuff like that. So it's a great details day. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this instructional forearms video um, using dumbbells. And maybe we'll bring, uh, you know, an have another forearm video in the future, maybe a barbell, barbell training for the forearms or machine training for the forearms. Um, great muscle to train. You want to make sure that's nice and strong. Uh, and uh, beyond that, uh, we don't just do, we have tons of other videos on our website. If you go to jamesandjazz.com, click on that videos tab. It's going to scroll you down to three different tabs. We have spiritual videos uh, that we put up on Mondays. We have done topical videos on spirituality, and we've also done Bible study with us where we're going through different books of the Bible. And then the second tab is going to be physically fit videos where we do Workout Wednesdays, we put those up every Wednesday. We have full-length workout videos with dumbbells, full-length workout videos with resistance bands. Uh, we'll have some kettlebell stuff to come. We've done cardio in place. Um, so encourage you to check those out. Uh, that's going to help you to get physically fit, y'all. That's what we want to help you to do. We want to help you to get mentally, spiritually, physically, and relationally fit. So um, we do have, like I said, those full-length workouts, or we have instructional videos like we did today where you just take some notes, do the workouts on your own. But some of those full length are great because you can work out with us through the whole thing, every set, every rep. So that's great as well. Mm -hmm. 
And then finally, life and relationship videos where we talk about what's going on in our lives um, and we talk about relationships. So we want you to be relationally fit as well. So help have healthy relationships. So we talk a lot about that um, and I think you'll enjoy those. So be sure to check those out. When you're on jamesandjazz.com, you'll see at the top of the page, the bottom of the page, we have our social media icons, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Be sure to follow us and like us. And then YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, our handle is at jamesandjazz, so mm -hmm. check those out. What else we got, babe? Yeah, if you scroll down to the bottom of our website, you'll have a section there where you can subscribe to our email list. That way you are the first to know of any exciting news going on as well as an additional section to the left of it all about how to book us for an event. Maybe you want yeah. to bring us in for our workout or you want us to speak at a church or a school or a conference or a retreat. Yep. Just give us all the details there and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Yep. Other than that, there is a tab that says donate if you would like to partner with us. So thank you for your prayers, first of all. Secondly, if you would like to partner with us financially, we would really appreciate it. And a little bit can go a long way. So if you have yep. $5 or $500, thank you so much. And obviously no obligation, no pressure. But on that tab, there is information about how you can donate via PayPal, Venmo, or Patreon if these videos have helped you in any way, shape, or form. So yeah. we yeah. appreciate you. Thank you all so much. We love you. We appreciate you. Look forward to seeing you for the next Workout Wednesday or in some of our old videos for a Spiritual Monday or a Life and Relationship Bonus Friday. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.